we live on the north coast of Lesbos in Greece. Lesbos is an island uh, very close to Turkey. And this is Lesbos here, and this is Turkey here. Over the last 16 years, we've been on the island. Over the 16 years, uh, refugee boats have been coming across all the way up and down the north coast here. In the beginning, they came, they used to row in small little boats, um, and it used to take them, you know, best part of 10 hours sometimes, maybe more. Um, and normally 10 guys at a time in a boat. Uh, towards the end of uh, 2014, uh, the boats started getting engines on and the boats were a lot bigger. And you could have 60, 70 people on the boat. And we noticed towards the end of 2014, women started coming and babies and children. And, uh, come 2015, February 2015, we decided as a family to help. One particular day in October, over 12,000 people came in, uh, which was quite incredible. <laughs> Just and you couldn't see the road at one point for the life jackets. Yeah. There was no end or beginning, it was just life vests. That they said you could see, you could recognise the north coast of Lesbos from the satellite because of the red, and that was the red life jackets. And most of this beach area here, this lower area, you would be driving on life jackets, literally driving your car on life jackets. There was hundreds of thousands of life jackets out there. Some nights you can get, uh, last September, even August, September, October, you could have maybe eight, nine boats have sunk out there. And we've brought them in. No one else has brought them in. Our teams have brought them in. And if you're talking 56 on the boats, you can see how many people we've saved. We've saved thousands upon thousands of lives. Uh, and these people would have never got in if it wasn't for our ribs being out there, the jet skis and the people being out on the coast spotting and seeing what's going on in there. Unless here uh, we are uh, to help the people to land it safe, but, but when you rescue people uh, and uh, you help uh, to survive, to stay alive, it's uh, more strong the feeling. I went close to him and I asked him, why are you crying, sir? You are safe now, you don't need to cry. And uh, he said to me that uh, I'm crying and I'm sad because uh, uh, the guys from the other side, they have the same religion with me, but if they had like half the, of your the, humanity. the half of your humanity, the things, it will be totally different. And I realize what maybe will happen in the, in the other side. Yeah. They keep, they keep coming. I realize that they know what they, um, how do you say that? They know that everything is difficult, but they keep trying to come. He told me I will sleep in the mug, I will sleep in the ground, I don't care, but I have to come. I will die over there. So. He was smoking a cigarette, very calm and very happy. But I was like, what a brave man.
people told me we are still long time. I'm not happy. All of refugees are not happy because Afghan people are coming from Afghanistan for danger trip. We are coming for five countries, Pakistan, Iran, Turkish, and Yun, Greece. I like Afghanistan. Afghanistan is my country. It's my heart. And it's Afghan people's problem just from Daesh, Taliban, Al-Qaeda. Please, I, I just I want to open the board and I, I, I wish safe location for me for my five days. It is not good, it is not fear. Because EU countries, I hear that many times they say, they telling, they saying the news that we are defender of human rights. What kind, what kind of human rights is here? Look at the situation, look at thousand thousand refugees living here in bad situation. They claim that we are defender of human rights. They don't give values for humanity. Believe me, there's a lot of children, there's a lot of women, they're crying about their status. We don't, have, we don't have option. If we go if we go back in our home, we lost everything. Money, home, any things that we had before, we lost everything. But we come here in order to make a new life, make a good life for our future. My grandmother, my small brother, and uh, my mom, and me. And my father is died uh, five years ago, and uh, uh, Taliban uh, killed my father. And the way, and, uh, my father is died. facilities of studying to us, to the child. Because uh, of studying, we are coming to here to learn more from the Arab countries. Sometimes what I find what find fascinating for me with these refugees is like they don't have anything. But once you get to know them very very and how you show them your attention, they're gonna give you so much. They they really they really don't have anything, but they really try to be as giving as possible. They they want they want to know like, you know, despite of all this they, they can actually they are human, they also appreciate you as much as how you appreciate them. ما ناس ديك ما كان سبروها دانا من الوالاطي غريب وغربتي دوري رنجتني دلالي نايه